Oromo and Finfinne City supported displaced citizens. Hello and welcome. This is Obian, Voice for the People. I'm Anwar Khalil with the news. The Orpidos Central Office announced that the 28th founding anniversary of the organization will be celebrated with panel discussion and different development activities. Soricha Kabanecha reports. The 28th anniversary celebration of establishment of Ormo People's Democratic Organization has been planned to mark tomorrow at where senior federal and regional state officials are expected to be presented in Finfinne City. With Ormo People Democratic Organization Central Office, head of the office publicity, Kasongo briefed Obian on the overall preparations of the celebration of the anniversary in the country and abroad at its office. <laughs> Orang awak ini ni afi umat ini ni kawan ni rakun orang ti ni ikne injifan orang ti galmai sif ni inggalmai sif ni injerat. This year's founding anniversary will be celebrated under the theme "We shall solve our problems and realize victory with our people." The anniversary would be celebrated at all levels in Romania and abroad where our organizational structures exist. It would also be celebrated through panel discussion and first developmental activities. He said the anniversary will market with various activities, including panel discussion and the developmental workers. Kassan stressed that the time in which they are going to celebrate anniversaries is special because as they are found in the time when their parties reformed and begins answering the huge public developmental questions and the struggling for change with his people. <laughs> What makes this year's anniversary unique is that it will be celebrated at the time when we are making effort to fully address the problems of our society and when our endeavors began bearing fruits. Casa on wish happy anniversary celebration for all members of parties and called on Roma people to support in the struggle they are found in. Opidio is the ruling political party in Oromia region state and one of the four among the four national parties in the coalition of APRDF. Minister of Construction Engineer Aisha Mohammed underscored that modernizing the construction sector would contribute for social and economic development of the country. The sixth construction sector workshop has been held in Finna City. Sorichak Abanech again reports. Ethiopian Construction Technology and Management Professionals Associations, in collaboration with Ministry of Construction, has held the sixth international workshop under the theme Construction Industry Transformation, Global and the National Perspective. Minister of Construction Ministry in General Aisha Mohammed said the workshop has a vital role in bringing new ideas in the sector. Establishment of Construction Council in order to transform the industry and solve the problem in the sector. We have established a Construction Industry Council to deliver and provide direction on policy ideas to enhance the contribution of the construction industry in the overall national, national development. Since the council is composed of different stakeholders of the public, private, and civic societies, it will have a vital role in bringing new ideas that fosters the industry's transformation. President of the Ethiopian Construction Technology and the Management Professionals Association, Mogestawa, stated, the workshop is prepared to share good experiences in the world and to create transformational attitude to stakeholders and the students studying on the sector. Uh, engineering and architecture students that are uh, working across the different uh, countries uh, are invited because they are the next generation. That eternal change should start uh, at early age so that uh, it can, uh, the, the, the relay can uh, pass to the next generation. Mogas added the workshop has its own contribution to identify problems of the sector in Ethiopia. Our construction uh, development is uh, quadrupling, so, uh, but the, the level of skills uh, who are highly qualified, their numbers and proficiency are not uh, going in line. That was the, the major challenge, but the, this scenario is the same in other developing countries that passed through the same trend. Different countries' experts have presented the experiences on the sector and the discussion presentation. 
Ministry of Culture and Tourism disclosed that Ethiopia has been misrepresented in the 2017 Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index. Nomsad Masu had the story. The Ministry of Culture and Tourism disclosed that Ethiopia has been misrepresented in 2017 Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index. Public Relations Director at the Ministry, Gazai Nyabate, told the Ethiopian news agency, contrary factors recognized by the government and the United Nations World Tourism Organization, the report used data that do not indicate the real performance of the country. The Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index that covers 136 economies across the world put Ethiopia at 160 enabling environment, tourism and travel policy, tourist-friendly infrastructures, air and land, and the natural and cultural resources are among the indicators used to rate the position of the countries. The report contradicts the data recognized by the government and World Tourism Organization, and the findings were full of subjective assertions, Gazai said. For instance, revenue from conference tourism covered about 10% of the total revenue from the sector. However, the report indicated that about 87% of revenue from Ethiopia's tourism is obtained from conference tourism he confirmed 87% ye conference tourism yellenumnyu ye conference tourism ka 10% bela hedu yaqa we didn't get 78% of the revenue from conference tourism our revenue from conference tourism has never exceed 10% in the previous successive years so the measurement is not only contradictory to the facts but also subjective and judgmental According to the World Travel and Tourism Council Economic Impact 2017, leisure spending contributed 76.1% to gross domestic product, while business spending, including conference, covered the remaining 23.9%. According to the Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index, the average receipt per arrival is 457.1 US dollars, contrary to data confirmed by Ethiopian government and United Nations World Tourism Organization. Statistics from the government and United Nations World the tourism organization shows that tourists spend 134 US dollars in average per day. As they estimated to stay 60 days in average, the average revenue per arrival could reach thousands. Ethiopia among the countries which have better domestic connections in the continent, ranked 111th by the report. The country has also called the roads linking tourist to sites, as Gazai said. <laughs> I would like to express the situation in two ways. One, they do not know Ethiopia well, and the second, the report based on their own intention. Ethiopia, the 2015-16 top destination of the world for tourists of the European Council on Tourism and Trade, ranked 69th and 17th for natural and cultural resources respectively by Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Index, which is absurd, the director said. For Celeste Grima, advisor to the state minister, similar figures are not expected at all variables, but gaps can be closed. Since standards and indicators vary in such assessments. According to him, the only solution to resolve such controversies permanently is using tourism satellite account, a standard statistical framework and main tool for the economic measurement of tourism. Ethiopia has a lot of, a lot of tourist attraction sites, cultural, historical and natural, but didn't use and has not yet used the values of tourism like Egypt, and Morocco, Tanzania and Kenya, even our neighbor. And it should be worked on that area very well. The Ormo of Infinite City have given very support for Ormo nationals displaced from the Ethiopian Somalian state and relocated at Galan town. Fukad Brown tells us more. Oromos of Nfune City have supported the displaced citizens who have been relocated to Galan Town with different food, staff, furniture and utensils. Representatives of those who have been brought the support say they are with them till the relocated citizens are fully recovered from their difficulties. <laughs> we never eat while you feel hungry. We share you all what we have. While our children are learning, you should not be out of school. We would promise you to facilitate such basic things to you. I hope you will be out of this support through so uniting and working with the town residents. Head of Galantown OPD office, Gete Lenjisa, for her part, underscored that they would work more than ever to fully rehabilitate the citizens. <laughs> The support is not enough. We have been working to strengthen them to continuously lead their life by themselves. To do so, all stakeholders should play their level best, she said. 
Oromos who have been relocated to the town for their part suggest that they are ready to improve their living conditions by participating on different jobs. We have also news of condolence. An Oromo rider, Wasani Bashayadeti, who wrote over 50 books in Afan Oromo, passed away at the age of 64. Wasani Bashayadeti was born in Arsizon in Dixis district, where he started schooling there first. He completed his secondary school in Adama town. He joined her teacher's training institute and graduated in teaching profession. Wasani Basha got higher diploma and first degree in English language and literature from Arsizon University. He got his second degree from the same university in Afan Romo. Wasani got another LLB degree in law from Kadisamari University. Until his death, he has been studying for his PhD in Afan Romo at Adisava University. Wasani taught at different schools, including House Preparatory School in Adama Town, for over 40 years. Kori Hamba and How We Are Well Known Books Among His Books That He Wrote. Wasani is survived by three sons and two daughters. Obens Umar Kurke reported. Yeah, hero of his people. He did that during even great challenges in riding in Afano Romo. And we wish strength for all his lovers and his families as well. Thank you for watching. Have a good time. Up next, I'll be back with Speak of the Week. Stay tuned. Don't go away, please.